what's up you guys so this video has been highly highly requested and for those of you who follow me on Instagram I'm sorry I know this video is supposed to have been up in October but it's better late than never right so to begin this hairstyle the first thing that I do is make sure that her scalp and her ends are oiled and moisturized so right now the product that I'm using to oil her scalp is my own product which is T Days Art I Wanna Grow Hair and Scalp Conditioner. I also add it to her ends as well. So as you guys can see, I'm going to keep this hairstyle simple as possible. I'll be using three cornrows, three fat cornrows. <laughs> So I'll be using the two times free twist pre loop crochet hair and the hair is called Yaki and it's in a 10 inch. This is the smallest inch hair that they have. I also used one bundle from the 16 inch pack of the bouncy straight hair and that hair has a bump on the tip and I use that hair around her part area just to fall over the short hair and give it a little bump on the end. So with the bigger cornrows, we're going to install it a little differently. Instead of crocheting the hair onto the cornrow, you're going to crochet around the cornrow. And it's going to take up less time. And although they say that quicker isn't always better, I beg to differ. I noticed that when I use the bigger cornrows, not only is it much quicker, I can manipulate how much hair I'm using and where I want it to go. Okay, so with installing, it's going to be just the same, but the only difference is by this being shorter hair, I use the rubber band method, and once I complete the rubber band method, then I'm going to take a smaller piece from the ends, and I'm going to tie it into a knot, and that is to ensure that it doesn't loosen up or come down. We all know it's easier to lose shorter strands than longer strands, so... I can tell you her hair was up for about a good month and a half and thankfully she didn't lose any strands. Once you receive this hair you're going to notice that there's a tiny tiny rubber band on the strands of the hair to form the loop. We don't need that. So I'm going to take my latches and I'm going to slide it off. Once I slide it off now we can get to the good stuff. We're going to separate it into tiny pieces. So oh, I usually separate it into three or four strands.
stand the hair all around the cornrows. There's no need to even entertain that big bump. <laughs> so make sure that you crochet around it. What you do around it determines on how well you hide it. I'm installing the 10 inch all over. The only time I want to stop using the 10 inch is right around the part area. Okay, so one of the reasons why I never posted the video a few months ago is because part of the footage was destroyed. So after her uninstallment, I decided to rebraid it and try to re-record the part area. For this portion, you will begin to use the 16 inch hair with the bump on the end. Now there are many ways to install this portion. You can loop it through and leave it as is. Or you can do the rubber band method, but using very tiny strands. I decided for this installment to use the rubber band method. Now, if you pay attention, I'm not tying the hair around the part area. Use the rubber band method as I did in the beginning. The only difference is you will not be tying this hair. You're going to do this until you fill up that whole part area. As this hair falls over the 10 inch hair, it will give the illusion as if it's all bumped on the end. Once I'm done installing the part area to my liking, then I will take the scissors and trim it all around the ends. Now you have a choice to buy the 10 inch hair and the 16 inch hair or you can just buy two packs of the 16 inch hair go ahead and click that thumbs up button thank you so much to my supporters for always supporting my channel and showing love sorry i had to re-upload this video y'all the color contrast and saturation was irking my nerves i couldn't take it so i had to re-edit it and re-record it so don't be mad at me. So if you liked and commented on the last video and you decide to do it again, thank you so much. You're a real one. <laughs> Bye y'all.